first step is to measure the snow depth, how much is it, and also how much snow came on the last snowfall. Second step is uh, we dig the snow profile all the way to the ground and start to calculate the snow density. Fist, four fingers, one finger, and then pencil or knife or something harder. This is usually at the bottom of the snow profile. When we have a concern that it might not going well, we take a crystals on our small board which, which has a net on it and we have a look on the crystals, what type of crystal it is and what should we expect depending on the weather and the temperature. Third step is we do the extended column test. This is 30 taps. First you do very light taps with your wrist, 10 from your elbow, 10 from your arm and strong hits on the snow. If we see the crack or propagation when we are tapping, we will have a look at the place where it cracked or propagated. If it's propagated, then we learn what type of crystal it is, depending on the weather and temperature, how it's gonna evolve. Another step of the snow observation is the measuring the temperature in every 10 centimeters and also the uh, air temperature which is so important so we could understand how is the gradient in the snow layers and then what to expect during the temperature changing. Once we are done with the snow pit we will uh, transfer all this information into the uh, snow book. Uh, and after the snow book and all the results of the snow pit, we decide whether what kind of actions we take to keep it safe.